Hi guys, in this video I'm going to continue working with UI Activity Indicator and um, this is video number two and I'm going to show you how to create um, UI Activity Indicator view uh, using actually uh, code. Um, create uh, UI Activity Indicator and add it to your view as a sub view rather than using a uh, storyboard. Okay, so I'm going to uh, uh, use single view uh, application. Um, this will be uh, my activity um, indicator example to Swift next create okay project is created uh, we'll um, go to main storyboard just to have a look uh, so we have view controller as always, I will resize it to four inch just because I like it that way. Okay, and um, um, again, to control UI activity indicator, uh, I like to use buttons. So I'll quickly create um, two buttons just like I did in my um, video number one. So this button I will use to start start activity indicator and this button I will use to stop uh, it from animating so and I will go to my view controller I will expand assistant editor and I will create two connection by with action type so this will be start button topped and I will write code to trigger activity um, indicator in this function and another one to stop connection type action stop button tapped connect okay so now um, I need to write code to actually create my activity indicator view because I'm going to be accessing it from two functions I will um, create it um, here. So I will uh, create uh, my activity indicator and it's going to be UI activity indicator view. Um, okay, so let's create our activity indicator. So um, my activity indicator indicator view and we will oops and we'll create it with a frame cg rect mm. Okay, so we will um, put hundred from um, X, hundred from Y, and we will um, make it a square of hundred by hundred, and this will be as indicator view. Okay, so it's now created. And um, two more thing, um, we will um, add it as a, a sub view to existing view. Now you could um, in your application because you have your own design, you you might want to add it to uh, a different view. But most uh, of the time, you basically add it to the um, to the to the current view. Um, and um, we need to uh, set it a style. I, uh, I will create it. Um, I will uh, create it as uh, activity indicator create style.
Tam tím větší. Indicator view style gray. OK. My activity indicator, activity indicator of view style. And we will create it as gray. OK. So uh, when start button is stopped, we are creating an activity indicator view. We are positioning it uh, at X and Y at the location where we want it to be positioned. Like in your case, it could be another position. And we are setting uh, a style for this activity indicator and we are adding it to subview. Now, our last one last thing, we need to actually uh, make it uh, animating. Start animating. This is it. So uh, let me run an example and see if it's working. Well, I should have um, selected iPhone 5, so I don't have to wait for it. Okay, so I have my start and stop buttons. I click on start and I have my activity indicator circling. Now, I don't have, I did not write any business logic for stop button. So let's stop it and um, go ahead and write that one. So before I can access my activity indicator, I need to check, uh, I need to make sure it's it's created, it's not nil. Uh, so um, this is what I'm going to do. If nil, first thing that I want to do, I want to uh, stop it. And then um, I want to remove it from, from my super view. Okay, so if it's not nil, I want to stop it and remove it. Let's do one more thing. Let's adjust our constraints, so reset to suggest it so it's looking nicer, and run it again. Okay, so we have our start and stop button. I click on start. Activity indicator appears at the position I have specified. And tap on stop and disappears. So um, it, it it doesn't look very good uh, in this example because it's not at the center, but I can uh, easily make it to appear in, in the middle of the screen. So what I will do, I will overwrite uh, my um, activity indicator uh, location, and I will basically say my activity indicator center equals self view center. So this is how I can um, make it appear right in the middle of the screen. So I run it again, I start, it's in the middle, I stop. I start, it appears and it's animating, and I tap on stop. This is it, a very simple example that you can refer to if you need to create an activity indicator using uh, Swift code. Thank you and I wish you a very good day or evening.